Hello everybody, welcome to another video. If, like me and many other people, you've downloaded the XEI or the NSB file to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, you've put it into the correct folder in Emudeck, which is Switch, through the ROMs folder. If you've done all of that, then, then gone into your Steam ROM manager, passed your files, gone to the gaming mode in Steam and loaded the game up, you'll notice that you're stuck on the controller section on the game. Now it's the same on both games, you cannot get the controller working. So you cannot continue through to the actual game itself. I'm going to show you quick settings how to fix this issue so that the game works and then you can use your Steam Deck controls as you can on any other game on Emu Deck. So what you need to do first is you need to load up Yuzu. Once this section is loaded up find your game and you need to go to emulation configure go to controls what you need to do is you need to make sure you have clicked handheld also down here you'll see it says handheld there'll be a little black mark inside there that's correct if you input the device you'll want to use steam virtual gamepad 0 Select Profile, Mine's Emu Deck, and then Save, and then press OK. Now what a lot of people do is, they click off this section and then go try the game. It's still not going to work. This is why a lot of people have issues after they've done this, and they're like, I still can't get mine to work. After this, you need to go to Properties, go to Input Set, Input Profiles, and select the profile that you made in your controller settings which was emudeck once you would now press ok you don't also you don't need to press any other configuration in this section i didn't have to do it so if anybody wants to change any of the controls that's completely up to you but just to let you know you don't have to it works as a default option now because i'm using obs i actually can't show you how the game works so I'm going to show you a recording that I made. So this is me loading into gaming mode just after I've done all the controls. As you can see the controls are now working. And this game runs at a solid 30 FPS as well. a little bit of gameplay just to show you that everything's working correctly and the controls are working fine thank you for watching the video and until the next one thank you again goodbye